have two CT here. I lost my camera. Um, as you all know, effective Wednesday, September 2nd, 2009, Oscar Guerrero's, aka Rey Mysterio, is suspended for 30 days for a violation of company policy. Um, I really am not surprised by this because you all know you saw him getting bigger and bigger, his body structure, Rey Mysterio. I mean, he wasn't the guy, um, you know, back in WCW or back a couple years ago in the WWE. I mean, to me, he really beefed up and, uh, you know, probably was on steroids. Um, I think he was on some type of list in 2007 or 2008. Um, if I'm wrong, please clarify. Because I just uh, found out the news. I was just watching Impact and I just gone online and talked about this because it's very interesting. And now, SmackDown has now gone two stars. Two big stars. And it looks like Punk, do you think, I honestly think that um, Cam Punk, CM Punk, and the other thing. It's just like, they, I don't think they're going to have CM Punk carry the show. Or say, uh, show, or, um, you know, yeah, let, me, let me stop this up. Do you think Dolph Ziggler can carry the Intercontinental title? And, you know, I think they might have to rush that. I think they were going to give it up at breaking point. Or, you know, have Dolph Ziggler with a breaking point. And can he hold that title well? I think he can. Um, second thing. Um, now with another star gone, SmackDown is looking very bad now. You, you mean... It barely got 2.0s. Now you have Hard Jeff Hardy gone, and you have um, and Rey Mysterio gone. I mean, Jeff Hardy's going to leave because um, he's just tired and everything. Because we all hear that he's not really. He's trying to take his body. I think he needs to rest his body and everything else as we've been hearing. He's going to leave, and now you have Rey Mysterio. Two guys who are over now going to be gone for a, a good quote. For a big amount of time. So, I mean, what is SmackDown going to do now? From now, there's going to be little to no reason why to turn it into SmackDown for some people. I mean, you know, CM Punk's great, but I don't think the Undertaker's going to. I mean, how is he going to be able to carry an entire show by himself now? Basically, by himself, you have. Well, who's, look at the main event structure at SmackDown now. You have um, CM Punk, you have The Undertaker. Um, would you say, who else now? Who else? I would have put, say, Rey Mysterio in there. But honestly, um, what, John Morrison or Matt Hardy? Um, really? I don't, um, I love Matt Hardy, but I don't see him as a main event. I mean, I, mean, I see him as a main event, but okay, I'll give you Matt Hardy. But I don't see, say, John Morrison. I think he's more of an upper mid card, mid carder. And, um, they are running empty. I mean, there's no real... They have young talent, but they don't have any good guys at the main event level. I mean, times like this, I think mean, MVP needs to come back to SmackDown. I think he'd be a lot too... I mean, MVP and maybe Evan... Uh, MVP or Jack Swagger, because honestly, I don't see them doing anything. And don't give me the show and uh, Big Show and uh, Jer uh, Jericho. I don't see them being big as... You know, they're main eventers, but... They're tied up with the tag team titles right now. Um, so, I'm basing this on um, Undertaker, CM Punk, Matt Hardy, and if you want to put Chris Jericho and Big Show in, okay, but they're tied up with tag championship matches and things like that. Um, is there anyone else to carry that show? I mean, if, if, if Rey Mysterio and Jeff Hardy weren't leaving, because if, if Rey Mysterio didn't get um, suspended or Jeff Hardy changed his mind, you have a very good rationale of talent there. But now I don't think um, it's going to be a very difficult job because the Punk, is, I think this is setting him up to fail. If, he's, if he does somehow beat The Undertaker, who in the hell is going to challenge him right now? I mean, Matt Hardy, may, maybe John Morrison, but after that, the, the, the way of challenges are gone. And by that time, maybe still maybe come, can come back. Uh, but, you know... But can Punk hold down, uh, hold down the fort for like 
September, October, November, and uh, December. Can he hold down that fort? That's going to be an interesting um, time for SmackDown. It's an interesting time for him. Because if ratings do go down, one punk's champion, tch, you're not going to see him with the belt for a good long time. Anytime. He might not win the Money in the Bank. He might not even compete in the Money in the Bank anymore. If the shit goes down in his watch, Vince will find any reason to get he, he, he will never win a, a championship again. Now, uh, maybe the Ricardo title. Maybe the uh, the ECW title if he goes back to ECW. Uh, the only championship that he uh, actually, you know, has some substance to. But honestly, if he, if the ratings go even lower because these two stars, Rey Mysterio and Jeff Hardy are gone, and CM Punk is not bringing the people in, say the arena is on the ratings, what's going to happen? I mean, this is big. I mean, Rey Mysterio gone for 30 days and the steroids no less. I mean, this sets up a good thing for Punk when he comes back. But... Honestly, it's gonna be a low, it's gonna be a difficult role to hope for Rob for SmackDown. I mean, they're losing two big stars. It's gonna be a um, very difficult role for hope for a while. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, before I go, uh, I'm gonna plug my uh, radio show, uh, Duke CT Lounge. I'll put the link in the description box. Um, we're talking about health care issues again. You know, I feel like I'm sorry for, if I if you're a fan of the show. I apologize for repeating myself. It's going to be a little more different next time. Uh, next show, I don't know what I'm going to do next show yet. I'll probably announce it on um, on my radio show. I'm going to try to announce like my uh, my next show, what it's going to be about. I feel like I don't really want to go reha rehash things uh, over and over again. And, you know, and uh, yeah, and, um, hopefully you listen and hopefully you will enjoy the show. Uh, and everything else and and um, email me uh, subscribe comment uh, rate video response anything you know cause hey I want to hear what your comments are you've been a little low on the comments lately uh, you know I'd like to look here some more of your ideas you know cause I'm not afraid of your ideas or anything else if I'm wrong I'm wrong say it email me or anything else that's all I gotta say um, today and uh, tonight, I will talk to y'all probably, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, it's Duke CT here. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all. One.